How do you make a cat go woof? Pour petrol on it and light it. <laughs> so laughter is a big part of my life. I mean, I love a good knee slapper, a good belly cruncher. <laughs> Hey, even when a little bit of pee comes out sometimes, you can't really blame anyone. Two monkeys in a bath. One says to the other, hoo, 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 ha, ha, ha. The other says, well, put the cold tap on them. <laughs> <laughs> so what I want to know is, is laughter the ideal drug? During these strange times, I mean, we all need a good laugh to keep our mood up and to keep us positive. So wouldn't it be brilliant if we can actually bottle the effects that laughter gives us? Well, funnily enough, there's some research actually that's investigating whether or not we can have laughter in pill form. And it actually comes from a pretty weird source. So you're hearing the squeaking through the ultrasound detector. One morning I woke up and said, what if that is laughter? And I uh, said, well, then you should be able to tickle animals. And we tickled the first rat, and they chirp like crazy. The second rat, as a matter of fact, every rat except uh, some really neurotic ones. So it might seem like these rats are actually crying for help, but in actual reality, these rats are having the time of their lives. They are following my hand because it's a hand that has brought them great joy. <laughs> I love rats. <laughs> They're such fun animals, so smart and so emotional. Pancept believed that rats had similar emotions to humans. I am trying to understand the animal mind as a way to illuminate the human mind. Animals that have been bred for high laughter are resistant to depression. That means they have chemistries that protect them against the vicissitudes of life. Animals that have been bred for low laughter are susceptible to depression. He used the rat's laughter to identify the area of the brain involved in happiness. Scientists in Chicago used this to find a happiness neurotransmitter, GLX-13, and then made this into a drug to stimulate that. A drug company then bought this for $560 million. Surprising as it is, $560 million is not bad for buying the rights to the most powerful item on the horizon. So honestly, when I first saw this study, I was thinking, yeah, laughter pill? But to be honest, this study actually got to the final stage of medical trials, and that in itself is a massive, massive achievement. So maybe there's something in it. Maybe the doors are open now to actually find out, can laughter be used as a chemical pill? So we all know the incredibly good vibes that laughter brings. So why does it actually feel so good? When you laugh, you release these chemicals called endorphins. And this is like a bit of a natural high. They're actually like natural pain relievers. So actually, vision this. Normally you're in pain, you take a pill to get rid of it, right? But imagine you're actually creating these chemicals within yourself just by laughing. What we're doing here is we're looking to see whether pain threshold increases after you've laughed. Now. When you do the wall sit test the first time, you're really going to be feeling it. I remember doing this test when I was playing rugby back at school and it was not fun. You're really feeling the pain in your upper thighs. So the idea is when you have a good laugh, you release these endorphins and so you're supposed to do the test again but this time it actually increases your pain threshold and you won't feel as much pain, so you can actually last longer. I mean, well, that's a theory anyway. Yes, um, you'd normally expect something between, on average, I don't know, about five seconds and anything up to 20 seconds increase in time, and that's pretty much what we have here. So there you go, guys. Laughter actually produces these pain-killing chemicals called endorphins, and these give you an elation, a high, almost like when you bench your one rep max, or when you've eaten a food you liked, or when you're chilling with somebody you really enjoy. These natural pain cleaned endorphins are kind of like opiate drugs, which is you may know as like morphine or diamorphine, which take away pain and give some people a little bit of a loopy high feeling. Except with this, it's naturally produced in your body from laughter, and you don't get any of the side effects you would with those drugs that we'd prescribe you. 
So we know that laughter has a big impact for us, mentally and physically, but what does it do for us socially? Well, this is something that the scientists at the University of North Carolina have actually put to the test. I was really interested in laughter because it seems like the kind of behavior that happens really frequently and is so relevant to the way that people think about their best relationships, and yet there was very little research on it. They asked couples to have a chat together and they took a detailed look into how and when they laughed. For this first interaction, we're interested in hearing about the first time you met. What was the first thing you said to me? I'm going to marry you one day and you said no. <laughs> so everyone can think of a time when they laughed with somebody. But we can also think of a time when we laughed at something but the person next to us did not laugh. You were expecting me to be boring? Yeah, you were a librarian. You read my emails. Yeah, but, oh. yeah, I mean, but it was still a librarian. I'm sorry. <laughs> they then measured the amount the couples laughed at exactly the same time, and they found out it was actually surprisingly powerful. So what we found was that moments of shared laughter actually are predictive of greater closeness and feeling more supported by one's partner. So those couples who laughed more tended to report more support and also generally feeling closer to their partner. <laughs> Just know that if you tell your partner a joke that you think's funny and you get crickets, <laughs> chances are guys, it's not gonna go very far. During the pandemic, we realized just how important social interactions are for our mental health. And now we realize just how important laughter is for our social interactions. So laughter goes way beyond us just having a physical release. Laughter is actually very important for our mental health, for our social interactions, and for our mood. So remember, when you can actually get out there and mingle with your friends again, you need to go out there and remind yourself just how important laughter is. Hey. And that's the doctor's orders. <laughs> oh!